Hey guys, welcome back to another Senior CrossFit video. Uh, my name is Chandler, I'm here with Kira today. We're gonna be taking you through the programming. So the first part we're gonna do is the warm up. So we're gonna have Kira here demonstrate the movements we're gonna be doing. Um, the warm up's gonna be a three minute AMRAP, which means as many reps as possible. So just for three minutes, you're gonna go through these three movements and get in as many as you can. So the first movement we're gonna be doing is three push-ups. So just for the warm-up, we're gonna have you do a modified push-up. See, she's at an angle here. Her wrists are, her hands are turned out for V for victory. Her elbows are coming in at her side. And then she's going all the way down and pushing up. You can go halfway down if you'd like and then back up. You don't have to go all the way down. She'll demonstrate that real quick if that's a little bit easier for you, more attainable. You can do this on a countertop, on the edge of a couch, anywhere that's sturdy that you feel comfortable. The next movement that we're gonna be doing is five leg swings. So she's gonna pretend this is the back of a chair or a countertop, put her other arm out, and she's gonna swing that leg as high as she can for five times, and then she's gonna go ahead and switch to the other side and swing for five times. And then after she's done with that, we're gonna do 10 um, step-ups or knee-high step-ups. So she's going to stand in place, but you can also move around the room if you'd like to. So she's actually going to walk forward a couple of steps if you want to add a little bit more to the movement. Alrighty, so we're going to do those three movements, so three push-ups, five leg swings, and then the ten step-up high knee walks. So it'll be five each leg for that last movement, and you're going to do that for three minutes, as many rounds as you can get in or as many reps as you can get in. Go ahead and pause this video, and then when you're ready, come back, and we'll move on to the stretching. All right, after that warm-up, we're going to go ahead and move on to some stretching. So Kira's going to demonstrate the movements for us. The first one we're going to be doing is a door frame chest stretch. So find a wall or a door frame, anything that you can press into, and you see that she has her arm at a 90-degree angle, and she's pushing into that movement to, to stretch her chest. And you see that it's really straining through the shoulders and the arm right here, it's pushing, she's pushing forward on that. Hold for about 10 to 15 seconds, switch to the other arm and you can see from the front direction here that she's pushing and even turning a little bit to the side just to give ourselves that little bit of an extra stretch. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to a wide stanced chest stretch. So she's gonna find a countertop or something that's high enough where she can put her arms up and then drop her chest through. Um, she's really pushing that chest down, letting her head drop through as far as you can to where it feels comfortable. You don't want to feel any pain, just a nice stretch that you feel your chest opening up. 10 to 15 seconds here, and then we'll go ahead and move on to a suspended calf stretch. So you can do this on the edge of your stairs or something that's slightly elevated. You'll see that she's going to drop one heel down and let the other one relax. Hold that for about 10 seconds, and then you can go ahead and move the other one back and let that drop down. If you want to, you can go do this two times through. It does feel pretty nice. Make sure you have a wall or something for stability while you're doing that movement. And then the last stretch that we're going to be doing is a quad stretch. So you see she's using uh, this, our makeshift wall for balance. She's grabbing the back of her foot and pulling it up so that her knee is in line with her other knee. That is the RX way to do it. If you're super flexible, you should be able to. If not, use a chair to help your, uh, grab your foot up. If you need to put that foot up on the chair first and then grab your foot to pull it, uh, you can do that as well. So feel free to go through each of those movements and then once you're done stretching, come back and we'll start the workout. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the workout. We're gonna have Kira demonstrate the movements we're gonna be doing. And the workout of the day is a Tabata. So we've done this before. We're gonna be doing eight rounds of 20 seconds on for the movement and a 10 second break. So the two movements we're gonna be doing or swapping back and forth is gonna be a push press and a lunge. So Kira here is demonstrating our push press. You'll notice her elbows are slightly in front of the bar. Her hands are outside her shoulders. She's dipping slightly and then pushing that bar up off her chest over her head. Remember to bring that chin back as the bar is coming up and push that head back through. We want to make sure that the bar is staying in line. If you didn't do our course at the beginning, go back and watch the video for push press for some more technical um, points to that movement. 
Second part is going to be our lunge. Akira here is going to demonstrate the RX movement while using a uh, chair or something for balance. You notice that when she's going all the way down, her knee is not going over her ankle. We want to make sure that it stays in line with the ankle. You see, that's not what we want. That's how we get injured. And if going all the way down is too hard for you or you do have a pre-existing injury, please only go halfway or to where it feels comfortable for you where you can get all the way back up safely. All right, after you finish up that workout, um, feel free to do some cool down stretches with us. I'm gonna have Kira demonstrate what we're gonna be doing. The first thing that we're gonna do is a head tilt hold. So she's gonna bring her arm to the opposite side of her head and then pull her neck slightly um, towards the arm that she's using just to create a stretch right through here. Hold that for about 10 seconds and then go ahead and switch to the other side. If you need a little bit more of a break to catch your breath, go ahead and do that two times through. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do shoulder circles. She's bringing those shoulders up towards her ears and then back down her back. She's squeezing tightly. Do that five backwards and then five forward. And then after we get through those, we're gonna go ahead and do a seated roll. So this is gonna be our chair for right now. She's gonna go ahead and breathe in, reaching up to the sky. And then she's gonna roll forward, down as far as she can go, letting out that breath, holding there for a second or two, and then rolling back up, reaching towards the sky. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this five times. Only go down as far as is comfortable for you. If you feel dizzy at all, don't go down as far um, if getting up and down is too much. Alrighty, so after five of those, we're gonna do our accessory movement. And today that's gonna be a glute bridge. So Kira's gonna demonstrate. Please use a couch or a chair or anything to get down on the ground onto a carpet or a soft surface. Something where it's comfortable, doesn't hurt to lay down. So she's gonna go ahead, put her feet a little bit outside of her hips, her hands are on the ground next to her, and she's gonna go ahead pushing through her heels and her hamstrings, pushing her booty up to the sky, off of the ground, up as high as she can go, holding for just a split second up at the top there, and then dropping all the way back down to the bottom. And just go up as far as you can. We're gonna have you do this uh, three sets of five. So do five reps, take about a minute break, then do another set, repeat that three times.